Hi, I was asked like hmm, a long time ago to make a tattoo talk through video. So this is that video. In my previous tattoo update video, I had hardly any tattoos, but I felt like that was the prettiest I looked in a YouTube video ever. And I would always go back to that video and be like, oh yeah, I know I look crazy right now, but I used to look like this. <laughs> and I used to watch it to make myself feel better about myself, which is really fucking lame. I'm not sure when you'll see this, but if you like this makeup, I've done a get ready with me. You can watch it, the link's in the description. It's literally a normal face and then you use Outlaw by Kat Von D. And actually, if you're gonna do that, don't do that because Kat Von D is not going to vaccinate her sprog and I'm all for vaccination. I don't know if I should go in the order I got them, which I can only half remember, or if I should just go bottom to top. I think I'm going to go bottom to top. I guess bottom being this part. All of the tattoos I have that are actual art are from Order of the Serpent. He is a tattoo artist based in London. It's a shop called Kids Love Inc. His name is Christy. He's a really cool guy. He was really nice to me and he's a Scorpio, so you'll have a good chat. I'll try to go into more detail than I did in my last video so that if you've seen that, this is something new and fresh and good. I felt like James Charles when I said that and it made me like throw up in my mouth a little bit. The bottom tattoos I have are these butterflies on my fingers. I'll show you them this way. I have three butterflies tattooed on my fingers. I also have a mirror there. So if I look up there, it's not because I don't love you. This one is a blue butterfly. <laughs> this one is an orange butterfly. This one is a purple butterfly. These two I had done by Bruno at Tattoos in London. He was cool. These two have been touched up since. I got them done about three years ago. Christy added this one on for me, but I never went back for my touch up session. I've only had that one for about a year. These two I've had for about four years. The blue one is for England, which is the country that I live in, the country I was born in. The orange one is for Uganda. And this is my logic. <laughs> The logic may seem flawed, but to me, England, I was like, oh, what's the English flag? It's blue, right? So I got blue, but actually it's blue and red. And if you mix them together, that would be purple. But I didn't think about that. I just got blue because it was the one I wanted. This one is orange for Uganda. This one is purple. That's got nothing to do with the country color. Um, I just got purple because I wanted a purple one, but this one is for Denmark. If you watch my October 4th video or any of my previous videos from about two years ago, you would know I moved to Denmark with my ex-boyfriend. That was a really unhealthy relationship. I only actually lived there for three weeks, but I thought I was moving there for the foreseeable future. I wanted to get a third and final tattoo for the third and final country that I've lived in just to commemorate like, that whole experience. <laughs> then I have this tattooed on the inside of my finger. This is a maths equation. It is T and then the sign for or and then a W is not equal to T and the sign for and and a W. My brother wrote it. It's a maths equation to explain a quote in a movie. It's the movie, The Emperor's New Groove. Yzma and Kronk are locked inside a cupboard. Yzma says, tell us where the talking llama is and we'll burn your house to the ground. And the little girl says, don't you mean or? And Yzma says, tell us where the talking llama is or we'll burn your house to the ground. And then the little girl says, well, which is it? It's a pretty crucial conjunction. <laughs> and or and and are conjunctions. Um, and my brother wrote that out as an equation because that was one of our favorite lines from the movie. And so basically it represents, tell us where the talking llama is and we'll burn your house to the ground is not equal to tell us where the talking llama is or we'll burn your house to the ground. <laughs> when I say it out loud, I laugh at my own self. So don't worry if you're laughing at me, but that is what that means. <laughs> my fingers rubbed together. Um, I used a cream that I was allergic to and um, I scratched it quite a lot. So it healed really badly. I probably will get it touched up, but I just, haven't done it yet because I'm pretty sure I can only do a few touches up on it. Um, so I might move it somewhere else and have it covered up. Um, we'll see. I have nothing on my palm. And then on this side of my hand, this was done by Christy. It says, we were not born in sin. It's a lyric from a song by the Lumineers called Sleep on the Floor. It's effectively a tattoo for um, someone I dated called Chris. I have a video with him. It's um, my boyfriend does my makeup. And he basically, when I met him, it kind of blew my mind open. So the quote is just to remind myself that I'm not born indoctrinated into religion and that it's my decision what I believe and what I don't believe. That basically stands for me realizing that I'm allowed to have my own opinion and I'm allowed to grow and develop my opinion and we were not born in sin, meaning like I'm not born needing to be forced into a certain religion and that it's my journey and my choice. I hope that makes sense. Then I have a moth because I fucking love moths. This is an emperor moth. We added some pretty little dots to make it look nice. <laughs> 
Then up here I have the words I love ya, especially today. These are lyrics from a song called Rose by a band called The Feeling. That tattoo is for my dad. Um, I didn't speak to him for a year and a half of my life because of various bullshit. We went out for dinner and the song Rose was on um, and it's my favorite song in the entire world. And um, the moment just felt so perfect. Like I was having dinner with my dad, I hadn't seen him in a year and a half and it was like, oh, everything's gonna be okay. Um, so I got that tattooed on me to commemorate that moment um, and to remind myself that I love my dad. He's my number one guy. Then flipping over to this side, I have this stag beetle. Her name is Sally. She's Sally the slutty stag beetle. I got her because I like stag beetles. Initially, I wanted it to be smaller and then we opened up the pincers to fit around the jigsaw piece, which I already had. This is the one section of the tattoos on my arm that I'm really not happy with. It's well done, so if you look at it, it's not that it's badly done, um, it's nicely shaded and such. I didn't go for my touch-ups, um, but it's just that I asked for it to be too big. So it takes up a lot of space and because the legs have lots of gaps in them, there's lots of room I could have used for something else if I'd have thought it through. Um, I'm not in the business of regretting things, but this would be the one tattoo that if I could click and not have it, I would do that and then I would put something else there and then get a smaller stag beetle somewhere else. But I like it, it's okay. Um, and whenever I get this all fixed up, I'll probably end up getting these flowers darkened and I'll do something to it so that it blends in more because as it stands, it is just too fucking big. Then I have this little jigsaw piece. I got this done in Whitstable and it is matching with a few other people that I lived with when I was in Whitstable. They all have jigsaw pieces tattooed on them. Then here on my arm, I've got a triangle of words. I was in a philosophy class and I was learning about something called the inconsistent triad. At the time I was a Christian and it was the argument that God can't be all loving, all powerful and all knowing because if he was all three, then there would be no evil in the world. And I heard that and I thought that was bullshit. So I got it tattooed on me that God is all loving, all powerful and all knowing and I got a cross in the middle. So it's omnipotent, omnibenevolent and omniscient and then a cross. I wouldn't necessarily describe myself as a Christian anymore. Um, I like the teachings of Jesus and I believe in God but I'm not a Christian and all of the things that come along with Christianity. Then on this side I've got a big rose and then another big rose. These I just got because I love the aesthetic of a rose. I love Christie's rose tattoos, so I absolutely love this tattoo. This is the one that I probably am the most happy with. Um, by the way, all of these tattoos were in the last four years. Most of them I got done in the last year. Just the writing, the jigsaw piece, this and these two, I got done um, three years ago on this one but the rest are all done by Christy within the last year. This rose I absolutely love. This rose I'm not as big of a fan of. I like it, but I don't like it as much as I like this one. However, I like to take selfies. So if I stand like this, this is the one that you can see in pictures, which is so vain, but I like that. I'm happy that they're not switched over, even though that's the front of my arm. On the inside of my arm here, I have my dad's birthday, 2nd of August, 1966, the year that we won the World Cup. My dad is my favourite guy, as I've explained previously. As you can hear from his birthday, he's a Leo. He's a proper fucking Leo. Finally, I've got these words. It says, in every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. It's a line from a Christian song called Cornerstone. Um, it's the first tattoo I ever had. It was just to remind me that even when times are hard, things are confusing, I'm not sure what's going on, my anchor is with Jesus. <laughs> um, I laugh now because I, I do still believe that but it's a lot more complicated now than it was then. I've also got this sprig of lavender. This was my friend Abigail's idea. I had this weirdly shaped space and I didn't know what tattoo to get in it so I just decided to get some lavender. Sorry that I didn't cover all the bases. Cool, that's all my tattoos. I don't have any anywhere else on my body. I will get some soon. Um, I want to get the whole arm done in colour on this side um, but first I need to fix this one up and make sure that I'm happy with it before I get more. So there you have it, that is a tattoo talk through of all the current tattoos I have. The other videos I mentioned will be linked in the description. If you have anything else you want to see me do or any other questions, feel free to let me know. If you're just finding me from this video, I have a whole load of shit on my channel you can watch if you like. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!